April 21st through the 27th of 2024 is National Volunteer Week. It's a week where we celebrate and honor those who have given of their time, talent, money, and self to serve our communities daily. In today's video, I want to give you some ideas on how using your notary stamp can serve those in your community, not just this week, but throughout the entire year. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Jennifer Cooper of JKC Mobile Notary. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm glad you're here today. If you are just visiting or have become a regular viewer, would you consider hitting that subscribe button, like, share, and smash that notification bell? I don't want you to miss an upload and I would love to see this little family grow. Let's talk about the power of volunteering. It's not just about stamps and signatures, it's about making a real difference in people's lives. Giving our time and, and skills without expecting anything in return creates a ripple effect of kindness and generosity, whether helping out at a local event or offering our services for free to those who need it most. Volunteering lets us connect with our communities meaningfully. It's a chance to show that being a notary isn't just a job, it's a commitment to making the world a better place, one act of service at a time. So let's roll up our sleeves and get involved because we can do amazing things together. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some ideas for ways that you can volunteer within the capacity of your notary commission and beyond. What National Volunteer Week is really all about is honoring the volunteers who are already volunteering in our communities. So before I give you volunteer ideas, I wanna highlight one of the volunteers you might regularly encounter as a mobile notary. Do you ever perform notarizations in skilled nursing facilities? If so, you may have run into one of the most important volunteers for the elder and senior community, your county ombudsman. Ombudsmen are patient representatives and the ombudsman program resolves problems related to health, safety, welfare, and rights of individuals living in long-term care facilities, such as nursing homes, board and care assisted living facilities and other residential care communities. Ombudsman programs promote policies and consumer protections to improve long-term services and support at the facility, local, state, and national levels. The individuals who go to the different facilities are volunteers. Support these tireless volunteers by reaching out to your local ombudsman office in your community. See if any of the volunteers might need notary services. And if not today, give them a rain check offer to call, to call on you when they do need notary services. You can also provide the office with a gift basket or just send a thank you note. Finding a way to honor these volunteers will undoubtedly brighten their days. And I promise it will brighten yours as well. As a notary, if you're interested in volunteering your notary services, there are many different people in your communities to who you could provide notary services for free. Some examples include the homeless community. And provided that they have appropriate ID or can be ID'd per the regulations of your state, women and children's shelters, hospice patients, and that's just a small list and you can find more, I'm sure. Many of you might be raising your hands and saying, what about veterans? And you're right, they should be included too. However, here's a little California notary legislation for you. For California notaries, at least, we are already prohibited from charging veterans for certain documents. Pursuant to Government Code Section 6107, no fee may be charged to a United States military veteran for notarization of an application or a claim for a pension, allotment, allowance, compensation, insurance, or any other veteran's benefit. Now, if veterans are buying or selling their homes and need a power of or needed a power of attorney or healthcare directive notarized, you could charge for it. But here's my advice. Hook up with your local VA, which is Veterans Affairs. Find out what the need is for the vets in the facility and decide what and how often you wanna offer free notary services. 
Another option you may want to consider is partnering with another organization to offer free notary services at their upcoming events, specifically events that speak to you and that mean something to you, but also events where it would make sense to offer notary services. This might be an attorney or a legal practice that is holding an event, say at a senior community about trust and estate documents. Offering on-site notary services might appeal to those attorneys, but, it also, but it's also a gift to a community that lives on very little. It might be an organization helping migrants or others gather documents for citizenship, but make sure your state allows you to notarize like I-9s or other immigration documents if you wanna do this. Another option is to put your network to work and create your own event. My Notary Network will be doing this on National Notary Day, November 7th. We'll be posted in county libraries around our service area, offering free notarizations for a day to celebrate our role in the community and support those who need it. You, of course, also have the opportunity to volunteer yourself. That's you without your stamp. There are endless opportunities to get involved and support your community simply as a community member volunteering your time. Some of the places and ways to volunteer are soup kitchens and homeless shelters, children's hospitals, your local VA, animal and dog rescue facilities, elementary schools, senior centers, and there are so many more opportunities out there. Check out, check out local events online in your community Facebook groups for more volunteer opportunities. In wrapping up, it's pretty clear as notaries, we've got something special to offer beyond stamping documents. When we volunteer our time and skills, we're not just helping out, we're weaving connections and strengthening our communities. Whether we lend a hand in those in, for, to those in need or pitch in on local projects, our efforts add up to a big impact. But here's the thing, volunteering isn't just about giving, it's also about getting back so much more. It's about building trust, understanding, and a sense of togetherness that makes our neighborhoods feel like home. So let's keep embracing the power of volunteering. Let's keep using our notarial talents to make the world a better place, one act of kindness at a time. Because when we come together, amazing things happen. Before we say goodbye, I wanted to let you know that I have a new online course available how to start a blog. It isn't necessarily a notary course, but as notaries, having and maintaining a blog can make us come across as experts in our industry. And lots of people start blogs without any knowledge on how to make them successful. This course was born out of the need for instruction, tools, and skills to start your blog in the right position. I'm offering my viewers a discount on this course, so check out the info below. In addition to the blog course, I have three other courses that could be helpful for you and your notary business. I've left links to all of them in the description, and right now I'm offering discounts on all courses. So check out the links below. Until next week's, until next week, tell me in the comments how you will volunteer and celebrate your local volunteers this week. See you next week. Bye.